It's not a bus, but it's called the Super Bus. And according to the people that built it, it's going to revolutionize public transport. Super Bus is, uh, is, uh, is a vehicle which um, can drive as a normal bus. It has the same length, 15 meters, same width, but it's much lower and it's much more aerodynamic. It uses the same amount of energy at 250 kilometers per hour as a normal bus does with 100. So it is, and it's electric, so it, it fits with the future. Vubo Ockels, a professor at the Delft University of Technology and the first Dutch astronaut, is the founding father of the Superbus project. He came up with the idea, but he didn't design the bus. That was done by the Italian Antonio Terzi, a former designer of Formula One cars, and it shows. When Vubo asked me, do you want to design Superbus, it was a uh, white piece of paper and it was a fantastic challenge. It was really fantastic to say okay how do I go about this you know how many doors and how many seats and uh, how high it should be and, and, and then it was of course fantastic to work with a, a wonderful team of people really professional people from a, from a number of different companies. According to its makers, the Superbus is interesting for metropolitan areas that don't want to invest a lot of money into a railway infrastructure for high-speed trains. It combines the speed of high-speed trains with the flexibility of road transport. Well, Superbus is, is, is special because it's the first high-speed bus. It has a transition like with the high-speed train which uh, injects a whole new um, use and a whole new uh, stimulation of, of public transport and I hope that within a few years we have a good uh, pilot for the actual you know exploitation of the public transport superbus. The superbus is now in the final stage of testing. Its developers hope to find partners that will help them build the vehicle on an industrial scale.